Hello everybody and welcome back to Brimple Plays Blackthorn Arena. This is Chapter 2, Episode 17, I believe. We have 55 more days until the Grand Game. We've got a couple of people healing and the rest are in training right now. But it's probably a good time to really branch out and get Joy those Battle Monk points we were talking about. He's going to need them at level 25. We'll back out of that room, go over to the smithy and do some research. And you ought to be crafting as well. And I've decided that Dogman, once he's in full veteran tier 2, needs to swap with Pete, who's wearing the champion gear. Um, the, the veteran tier 2 is just so much a better fit for Pete with all of the willpower and stamina related stuff whereas the strength agility and stamina from the champion gear will be of a bigger boon to dogman anyways let's get those boots give me those boots buddy yeah there we go where'd those go nope Right there. Okay. What do you have, Pete? And what do you what are you missing is a better question. You're missing a couple of pieces of champion gear. That's all right. I think I'd rather send you out with the medium veteran tier two. Maybe. I don't know. What I do know is we should go get some money and some gear by challenging people. Level 16s? Yeah, we gotta crush these guys. Who can we send that's more powerful than Lauren? Who oh, Edward? Let's send Pascal, actually. It's time for Pascal to get out there with his monster hunter gear. He's been sitting on it for long enough. And why send somebody without boots. We shouldn't send a bootless person, but we should send somebody who's trying to level. Like Edward. Now finally, who here has leadership? Rosalie, you have one. Alright. That makes you the leader. We'll see how this works out for us. I'm not feeling super confident with this team. I'd really like to get Pete up a number of levels before the Grand Games. I'd like to get him close to being on par with everybody else because his toolkit alone makes him really dangerous. Hmm. One of them has monster hunter gear, okay. Pascal, what's your combat style, by the way? No, you need to be aggressive if you're going to be dual wielding. Uh oh, Juliet, don't die. That was close, you almost died. Can you imagine if. Cobra turned around and shot her, killed her. I almost willed that into happening. I'm surprised you're not disabled from all that. Not a very organized fight, but it's good to challenge those arenas repeatedly. That way you can fight their champions 
and take their champion gear. Like, I want Flint's sword, for instance. And he's at that arena. Oh, caravans. I love caravans. We will send Dogman, Lauren, and Juliet out on their own. And over here, we will send these three. I wasn't proud of needing to send somebody out without boots, but um, money, money talks. And besides, werewolves don't even wear boots, so it's not like it's a huge loss. Juliet mowed down her fighter, killed the merchant, started beating down everybody else. It's only because I made her and Lauren trade bows, really. That's a crazy bow. If I were Lauren, I'd be pissed about that. Rosalie just beating this guy down, actually, doing some good damage. Imagine if you had an epic weapon, or better, a legendary. Now, Pete holding your own against uh, two people, not bad. Could stand to do a little more damage, really. going to grab him. Nope, I guess not. Well, I got a lot of money out of all of that. And I got ranger armor, and I already have ranger pants. Hmm. I'm wondering... First of all, let's put Pascal into training. And then in the treatment room, we will put Pete. Juliet. Why should we not put Ranger armor on you with Ranger pants? You gain three agility from that, but is that better than this plus two precision? I don't think so. 96% chance to dodge. I think that's what that means anyways. If it's not what that means, I don't care. I'm going to pretend that I'm right. You have low obedience. You need to go to the torture chamber. Anyone else feeling disobedient? Pascal, you're disobedient? Get in there. Rosalie, get in there. Alright. We got more than six gold from that. Just about seven, really. You all have eight obedience now. But just to really drive the message home, you're all going to stay in there for one more turn. Hey, message from Gordis. Okay. Let's get you all out of here, put you into treatment. Hopefully you don't forget 
who's in charge until you win the Grand Games. Afterwards, of course, after you win the Grand Games, you are free to do as you wish, and no one can stop you. Those are the rules. Joy, now that you're a battle monk, I want to spend some of those points. Battle monk, there we go. We could get Mortify, but I actually wanted Energy Shield. We're going to get Internal Force, too. Because I think that could actually be really crazy. Do we already have... Yeah, we have maxed out counter cut already. Perhaps I should get two more points into Duelist. That's okay. Who needs it? As for this... Mm, some more health and stamina couldn't hurt. And actually, I think, Joy, you should start out combat when, when you enter combat you are going to cast energy shield there you go Edward I've kind of neglected spending points with you for a while but you still need to learn berserker So maybe we should put you into training for that. Oh, there's Gordis, okay. Now we can do challenges here. and build up some points. That's how you get an achievement if you um, finish all of Gordis's challenges here. I think there's like five levels to it. Something like that. I may show you. I don't think I can beat all five of them with this team, but I'll show it to you. Now, I was talking earlier about switching out armor from Dogman and giving it to Pete because it'd be more fitting there. That's what we're going to do. I'm clicking and dragging just because I wasn't sure if the game would place it in the exact same slot if I right-clicked equip. Okay, so I need to create champion gloves and champion boots for Dogman. Let's do that real quick. And then we'll go to that caravan. Or we'll dispatch people to it. Um, not everybody. Maybe... We might even just send... Yeah. You three. Hmm. I thinking about sending Rosalie instead. But... We'll, yeah, we'll just send these three. We'll leave Joy back. And we'll go to the market. We have so much money. We ought to go to the market.
A mangler? Yeah, we could get that in the meantime. And we might. There's champion medium boots. We could get that and just um, cancel our crafting. I don't know. Gosh, do I want the mangler? I guess I'll get the mangler for now. We'll go back to the haberdasher. Nothing incredible. We should hold another game at Blackthorn Arena in order to raise more funds. I don't need any of those weapons. Here we go. Champion's Cloak and a Champion's Belt. We'll take that for sure. I would like an Experience Potion, please. Very much so. Ooh, another steel teeth. That would be huge for Edward while we wait for a flint sword, but I have to have faith that we're going to get flint sword. Gosh, even then, you know, steel teeth may even be better. There's a good chance that it is. I'm just going to get it. Why not? Alright, these are the things we're holding on to, and we'll hold on to you as well. We should get rid of a little bit of garbage. You might want that. I'm thinking about getting rid of all of this, but I'm not so sure. Two gold isn't, or two gold, 50 silver isn't terrible. Not like I burn through a lot of money anyways, in terms of daily expenses. We'll go back up here. Joy, I want you to have a champion's cloak because you are a champion. Juliet? Hmm. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, you're, you're just kind of a... Uh, not a liability, but I think you might die. And I don't... I don't want to have you die with something so nice. Here we go. We may as well give you this. Hmm. You actually are pretty powerful. I should treat you with more respect, Rosalie. It's just not gonna happen. I could give you focus block. We should max out defender as well. Just make you extra tanky. Oh yeah, focus block will be doing a lot for me when I have seven dodge. Oh well. Pascal, you're not doing anything again? Get it together, man. Julia, you still need to heal. Rosalie, you can get back to training. You're taking forever on these boots.
Pete, we gotta see your performance in this new armor. We've invested heavily in you. It's because we believe in unarmed combat so heavily. Because it's so unorthodox, it has to be good somehow. That's, that's the logic. It must be good in the right hands because it's unorthodox. Man, why'd you have to slam the merchant? What's going on with you, Lauren? What are you doing over here in the bushes? Are you serious? I'd like to see Peak at even more levels. Hey, there's a level right there. And being that Pete is now going to be level 17, he's really not so far off the rest of the team. Well, six levels is actually kind of far from the rest of the team. I'm so tempted to get things like Tornado Punch and the Spinning Attack from the battle monk tree wherever it is there's a spinning attack here is it breakthrough i thought it was it may not be landing attack would be cool or yeah i'm thinking about just giving him a whole bunch of attacks you know things that make him annoying Hmm. I don't want to get those. I want to get things like this. And we will continue to put points into willpower since we scale with it as a battle monk. Really, I should have put two skill points into... Two more skill points into being a battle monk, but that's okay. What can I do with Pete this turn to make sure that he continues to get more skill points? More experience? Maybe... I, I ought to go on one of these. At least one of these, right? And try and get some better gear. Oh, you're in genre training, Edward, of course. Rosalie, you go then. You have a heal, so that makes you very valuable. Okay. These four can go hunt down a red treasure chest. Do I have four people to fight a troll? No. I have three people. I don't want to dispatch three people right now. Because a dispatch would t line up at the same time as that chest. Do I want to... Oh, Galu's level 23. I don't have anyone who's... who's level here right now. That's okay. I don't really want Galu on my team anyways. He's a big doo-doo head. We'll just dispatch these three on a mission. Pete, you got zero morale. You're really that upset. There. Chill. Pascal, you're also very upset for some reason. I guess I don't have a cook. You know, that's something that normally I would have at this point because you don't want everyone on your team to have such terrible morale maybe I should put Lauren in the cook position and 
research something that will boost everyone's morale. Just continue to make that for a number of turns until everybody's happy. That would be smart. We are very lucky that it's this mission for the red treasure chest. Very, very lucky. Show those wear crocs what's up. No loot in there. What do you wear crocs have anyways? Lizard skin? I need that for crafting, so I guess we'll loot you. There's another one that fell down into the waterway there, but I'm not so concerned about him. We'll go kill the rest of the lizard men down this way. And the wear crocs, whatever. Hey, free sunflame. Look at these wear crocs. They don't know. That was a good uh, smoke pill there, Juliet. forget. Got to get your lizard skin. Not going down into the waterway. Don't care what they say. All right. And now we will go fight the Iceman. Iceman is of course the boss of the dungeon. There he is. Actually, I'm not going to zoom in on him because he makes a really loud, repetitive noise once his ice gets done. As you can see, he's frozen himself to protect himself. And he froze uh, someone on my team. Dogman. He froze Dogman. Didn't help him, though. He got smoked. And you cannot loot the Iceman. Iceman is unlootable. So you just loot the end chest. We got a lion hammer. Well, it's disappointing. You want a legendary when you go on a red chest. It's not a guarantee. It's only a chance, but it's what you want, right? You hope for the best. Joy's got a heal, Dogman's got a heal. Not Rosalie, she's fine. And Lauren? Oh, you're not back. Well, you know what you're going to be doing when you get back, though. I think it's loud and clear what your mission is. And we just so badly want to watch Pete beat down the rest of the enemies again. Especially with his new abilities. He uppercut that guy and then body slammed him. What a sick combo. Just beat the snot out of him. Love it. got beat down. <laughs> Pete's going off, man. This one guard is just put down everybody, huh? So what's their deal? I don't know. It didn't matter, though. Pete just wrecked everybody by himself. All right. Uh, okay. I feel good about 
without all that. Pascal, broken arm. That's not good. Should treat you like a horse. Get you in the treatment room. Oops, not you. And not you. You and you. Not you, you're just gonna go cook. You'll go train, as will you. As will Edward. Time for you to research a strong diet. Wow, you're very quick in running to that kitchen. I'll give you that. Great. May as well dispatch some people for a caravan again. Not any of our main people. Because I want to save our main people, or at least that crew, for... Um, treasure chests. Edward, I ought to give you Heavy Veteran Tier 2. I have all the components for it, so I ought to make it. Just thinking, is there anything I need to complete first? I needed to complete uh, the cha champion medium gloves. There we go. Because Dogman needed to complete his set. And you can have the lion hammer, Dogman. The plus the plus point two stamina restore is nice. And again, he has the tower shield for the big health bonus. Maybe it's worth giving you shield skills, though, for when you are not transformed. It couldn't hurt. Hmm. Just thinking about it. Yeah, I like the health so much that I am going to invest in shields. How much, though? I don't think that much. Maybe just two points. Two maxed out points, for sure. But then the rest will be deterrent and fortress. Hmm. Oops. There we go. Okay, I think that will be the end of this episode. When we pick up, it'll be 45 days until the grand game. So we got through 10 episodes, or 10 days in this episode. Thanks for tuning in.